So how can we create a custom lookup who is tool in Python? We can then take that and use that at the beginning of a penetration test for some great reconnaissance. Well, I'm WJ Pierce for CyberGraded and that's exactly what we're going to be looking at today. In a nutshell, the Whois tool is a query and response protocol. It's used for querying large publicly available databases, and these databases contain information of registered users' internet resources, such as domain names or IP address. The protocol then stores and delivers that database content in a format that we can understand. And I often see it get confused for the NS lookup tool, but remember they are different tools performing different actions at different stages of the reconnaissance exercise. Speaking of reconnaissance, because of the power of who is, it is usually the first step for any ethical hacker trying to gather as much information about their target as possible. As always, we're going to start off with our blank VS code file, and I've just created a new Python file here. I've called it python-whois.py. In a separate file, we've got our script, and we're going to take it in bit by bit and build it together. So the first thing we're going to copy over is the import socket library. Now the socket library for Python is great. It's basically going to give us that low level functionality, those really core networking services that we need our Python script to be able to do. So it's going to give Python an understanding of basic things like HTTP and HTTP requests. What is a port and what is a domain? It's going to let Python basically pull that information and then use it within our who is lookup script. Next, we need to go and grab the function, and this is the only function in this script. Although it's quite a complicated one, it's got quite a lot of information, it is the only function in this script. So we are going to call it whoislookup, and we're going to pass it in a string line argument called domain. We're then setting a variable called s, and we're creating a socket using the socket method, which takes two parameters, socket1, socket2. Socket 1 is called AFINet and that basically stands for Address Family Internet. Socket 2 is called Socket Stream and that's basically declaring that we want to a TCP socket type because we're going to be making a TCP request using this whois functionality. Next we're going to talk about line 6. So line 6 is going to take the information that we've declared in our variable s and it's going to use the connect functionality of the socket library and it's going to connect to this url here which is our who is url and it's going to connect on port 43. it's then going to send a request which is basically what we call a query to the domain which we will define later and it's going to encode it as a byte of strings moving on to line 8 we are going to set a new variable called response and this response is basically responsible for receiving, you guessed it, a response from the Whois server. And we're going to give it a buffer of 4096 and it's going to decode it into a string so we can actually read it. And then on line 9, we're going to close the socket and then line 10, we're going to return the response. Now, it gets a little bit kind of convoluted there, but stick with me and I'll go through the response and the output of the script. And you'll because of the output, be able to see where different functionalities of this function come into play. The last thing we need to grab is the last part of the script, and it's really simple. It's just a print statement. So on line 12, we're going to pop that print statement in, and this print statement basically calls the who is lookup function, which we've defined earlier, and it takes an argument, which in our case is google.com, and then it's going to print that response. So we can print it and go through the output together. So I've got my bash terminal open here and I'm already navigated to the desktop and I'm just going to run the script with python space python hyphen who is which is the name of the script. We hit enter and it gives us a output of information that we would expect the who is lookup tool to give us. So you can see it's given us information on Google such as when it was registered, when the domain expires. It's given us a status and it's saying active and it's also saying that it's client transfer prohibited which locks down that domain and prevents anyone else from transferring that domain without their permission. It's given us name server information. So these are the DNS servers that NS lookup would query. And it's given us information about where this company, in this case, Google is registered. And if we open up our web browser, we should be able to see that going to the who is lookup tool actually on the web browser gives us pretty much the exact same information. So if you just let me adjust this, let me go to Google. Yeah, there we go. So you can see that the power of this little script can give us the exact same information that we would find on the web application itself, which is going to be really handy if you're in a bit of a pinch and you've only got the CLI available to you. Other than that, it's a really cool little project for learning the socket library in Python as well. All right, that's all for today. If you've enjoyed it and you're still around, thank you very much for making it to the end and I will see you in the next one.